Okay, now everybody remember, Brandon's PB is 26 and a half. Getting hectic. Nick, turn the boat that way a little bit. It's a nice fish. This is your PB. This is your PB. Holy oh my God. Christ, that is a giant. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today we are down here in De Pere. We are out on the Fox River and we are going to be going out for some walleyes. You guys have seen us doing this the last couple weekends. Now we've got good old Cody S with us again. We are currently getting the boat ready. So we're going to go ahead, throw the rods, throw all the camera gear, get everything ready, put it into Cody's new boat, check it out. It's pretty nice. We were out here last weekend in it, and it was doing us pretty good. We came up with some really nice walleyes, and that's what we're hoping to do again today. But today, we're going for some giants. Uh, I ended up losing an absolute giant last time that I was out here last weekend on Sunday, just with Cody, and I'm still heartbroken. But today, I'm coming back for some redemption. So we're gonna go ahead, get out there, and land some big ones. Who's ready? Okay, so we just got out on the water. Plan of attack today, it's about five o'clock right now. We're getting out a little later. That's because we are going for a complete night mission. We plan on staying out here tonight until the fish stop biting, whether that's midnight, one, two, six, ten, doesn't matter. We're gonna stay out here as long as the fish are biting. Uh, first, we're gonna go downstream a little bit. We're gonna start by jigging with some plastics and some ripping wraps. And uh, as it gets closer to sunset, we're gonna switch over to trolling, try that throughout the night a little bit. And um, after we do that for a little bit, if that's not succeeding for us, we're gonna head up towards the dam and we're gonna be casting some rip and wrap, some husky jerk, stuff like that, trying to see if we can get a big fat mama. Hopefully we get it before that and we just get a whole bunch in today's video. So that's the plan of attack. And yeah, so we're gonna see if we can just nail a big old fat mama. We're gonna get Brandon his PB today, maybe me. I don't know. We've got big expectations, so stay tuned, guys. Yeah, we got the crit. Yeah, it feels heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy, but I could have snagged it. But I don't know. Nope, you got it. He's got the first one of the day. day. No. Right. Look at how he munched that thing. Oh my gosh, he destroyed <laughs> that. He totally inhaled yeah. that bait, dude. It like it slapped it. It oh slapped it hard. Oh my gosh! Let's go. Okay. Well, that's my first fish, actually. I think on a open water rip and wrap. Yeah, I think so. Holy cow! Look at how that thing munched it. Absolutely destroyed it. He Bro. came up and crushed that thing, dude. Oh my gosh! We've been fishing for like, well, I don't know, maybe. 15 minutes? I, tops. I don't know. 15 minutes tops. And uh, that one came up and munched with the rip and wrap. That's a nice size one. That's a great way to start, honestly. Wasn't really expecting a bite that fast. Like I said, first time using the rip and wrap, and it's a beautiful little thing. Munched it. Hopefully, uh, we get a little bigger, but hey, first fish of the night, and uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's get after it, boys. All right, I'm gonna get the ripping wrap back in the water. We're gonna see if we can connect on some more. Alrighty guys, well, first spot was not too bad, but we only got into one fish, so we're hoping that we can kind of convert things over. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get the trolling rods ready, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start slamming some walleyes. We got into one on the rip and wraps, but now it's time to get the night started. We're gonna be trolling throughout the night, and we'll see how that goes. Depending on how well we do trolling, we may switch over and actually go way upstream and try up by the dam as well later this evening, but for right now, Cody's getting us all set up. We're gonna start trolling and catch a few giants. Cody! Oh, he's getting the juice. Look at that sunset. Obviously, that's what he's getting. You know, master photographer over here. Master photographer. Master guy. <laughs> <laughs>
we're trolling. NB Edits fans, I'm not sure how many of you guys are used to trolling or how many of you guys do troll. Um, but out here on the Fox River, or even the Bay of Green Bay, it's a pretty popular tactic. It's a great way to cover a lot of ground. It can be a very productive way of fishing sometimes, especially if you're over a lot of fish, or bigger flats, anything like that. Not like a concentrated area like you would if you were jigging. So basically all we're doing tonight is we're running crankbaits. I got a bunch of Selmo crankbaits, and then we also got some Perfect Tens out. We're basically just running them anywhere from 50 feet to 70 feet back behind the boat and then we're using offshore planer boards these planer boards will get the lines away from the boat uh, what this allows us to do is run more than obviously one rod off of each side so tonight i'm running three three trolling rods off of each side another big thing is we got lights on our planer boards out here that is like a must have if you don't want your lines to get ran over whether you're trolling on the fox river anywhere it's almost a necessity to have lights on your planer boards because these things are expensive and you don't want people running them over so having those is like a must have and like i said with all the people that are trolling out here you want your boards to be seen you want your baits to get seen because you don't want somebody running through your spread that would pretty much just ruin your night so a lot of geese around these parts <laughs> But yeah, so we're just gonna stay on these shallow flats. Hopefully a lot of these fish are gonna start getting a little more active. Um, we're running like a slower presentation. We're running super slow. Hopefully should be a pretty good bite tonight. And uh, we're hoping to get on some fish. So should we start trolling? Start trolling. Let's, Let's start. do it. Yeah, we're hooked it. up boys. Brandon, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Turn, turn the rod this way. Yeah. Keep them pinned that way. I wanna keep them this way as much as we can so we don't tangle up on our other lines. Back. Okay, now everybody remember Brandon's PV is 26 and a half. <laughs> it's close, it's surfacing. surfacing. Is it? Yeah. Getting hectic. Nick, turn the boat that way a little bit. It's a nice fish. This is your PV. This is your PV. This is PV. Come this on, Cody. PV, let's go, let's get this, boys. Holy oh my god. Christ, that is a giant. That's a nice one, boys. Oh my Holy god. Cow. Brandon, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Let me see the thing. Oh my god. That thing is huge. Turn the boat. Oh my god. That thing is freaking huge. That's a giant. That's what we came up here for right here. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That is a long fish. Oh my goodness. That is a giant walleye guy holy cow look at the length on that thing that is going to be my pb walleye cody thank you so much man we are out here trolling it's a little bit later into the evening you want to slap that it up on that board came up and just slapped it oh my goodness all right 29 guys. inch spawned out female huh holy cow definitely post spawn definitely post spawn 29 inches she's a big girl that is a long fish definitely spawned out we are definitely getting a little bit later into it and this thing if she would have had spawn i can't even imagine how big it'd be but she's 29 inches this is brando's pv this feels so good to land you have no idea how incredible this is that is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous fish right there Whew! thank you so much cody for putting me on that one that is a giant. What do you say? Get a oh get a 30? God. We're gonna try for a 30, but that feels really good. Oh my god. I honestly have no words. After all the years of going for an absolute giant, I mean I've landed some really, really nice fish over the years, but this has got to be probably one of the most rewarding fish I've ever caught. We're gonna go ahead and this big girl's gonna swim. We're gonna get a release on her. Look at that fish. That is an absolutely gorgeous walleye right there. There she goes. There she goes. Woo! 29 on the board and that's just the first of many. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. I'm so excited. Woo! That feels amazing. That feels absolutely amazing. That is why we are out here. We are on the grind. Thank you so much, Cody. That... This is a team effort. We got Cody with the lights. <laughs> and driving the boat. Out here. 
Oh my God, I'm, I'm speechless, dude. I have no words. That's like one of the biggest fish of my life. <gasps> I lost a fish that was that size, if not bigger, last week. And to come out here and capitalize and catch one that is just as big, I am, I am literally speechless. That feels so good. Let's go. Hooked up, boys. It's been a hot minute, about an hour and a half, but you know, I'm not complaining. Brandon caught a 29 incher. Everything's good. Everything is good. How's it feeling, Nick? Um, it doesn't feel that heavy. Let me get up here. Stand down, it might be a nice fish, Brandon, that way, that way. Not as big as the last one, but it's a nice one. Oh, he's that hooked well. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo! Okay. I was a little tense. I was trying to get down and I couldn't. There we go. Dude, nice fish, Nick. Oh my oh, gosh. That thing was just barely hooked. This is a, uh, what, what the heck is this bait, Cody? That is a Salmo Wacky. Have you ever heard of that? Never heard of it. Cody's a big <laughs> Salmo guy. Put these out, I was like, what the heck are you doing? That last fish came on a perfect 10, but uh, this one did the trick. Second fish of the night, you know, we're getting only like a fish every single pass, but if they're gonna be of this caliber every single pass, I am perfectly fine with it. Like I said, we're gonna be out here as long as these fish keep biting. So if fish like this keep biting, I am happy. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on this big girl. Brandon's was post spawn. This one's definitely a pre spawner. We got a, what do we got? 24 and a, 24 and a quarter? 24 and a quarter. Brandon's fish, I can't even believe was, what? I can't do math right now. <laughs> Five inches bigger than this or so, but uh, still just a very, very quality fish. You know, it's just, it's so unreal coming out here to the Fox River, especially coming from up north where we fish. These fish are just so common down here and you know, everybody's catching them this size and uh, up north you gotta really work for them. So this is definitely a pleasure coming down here and doing this. Gonna get a release on this fish and try to get another one. This fish is ready to go right away. Look at that. Right back to where she came from. That is awesome. Feel, uh, feel so awesome catching one. Now it's uh, Cody's turn, so let's make it happen. Well everyone, we just got back to the landing. We are finally off of the water, but hey, we had an excellent time out there tonight. Wasn't a crazy aggressive bite that we thought it was. I think the fish that we came into were relatively aggressive. Huge shout out to Cody for uh, putting us on some awesome fish here tonight. Uh, met up with a subscriber before we went out, which was really, really cool. So we talked to him for a little bit just to see, you know, how his fishing was going earlier this week and stuff like that. So if you guys ever do see us out here, whether we're down here in De Pere or we're fishing more local around the Wassa area or even up north, no matter what, if you guys see us, you know, don't be afraid to come say hi or say something to us. Cody's Please. holding the camera now, which is very clutch because my <laughs> arm was about to fall off from holding the camera. Oh man, I'm just literally speechless, guys. Tonight was uh, pretty incredible. You know, after all these years of, you know, chasing trophy fish, you know, especially after coming down here last week on Sunday and uh, fishing out here Sunday night with Cody and hooking up with just an absolute giant I, I mean i can't even put this fish into words and it came off right at the boat um and to just you know like i said capitalize and come out with a huge one tonight feels really 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 good so you know thank you again to cody for putting us on some fish tonight we're gonna go ahead get everything packed up here but we had a really good time out here on the fox out in cody's boat if you guys like today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it, it shows us that you guys are liking the videos that we are posting we plan on doing a lot of walleye fishing up here in the near future. Probably not on the Fox, but we got a few other trips planned already, mostly with Cody. So you'll probably be getting used to him on the channel. Yeah, we're gonna be fishing up north, honestly, guys. We might try and hit the hard water one more time. I don't know. It's hard when we're out here open water fishing just because, honestly, guys, there's nothing better. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, wrap things up. But again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to, leave a comment down below. 
We always appreciate talking to you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for tuning in to NB Edits. Tight lines, guys. <laughs>